Okay, I'd like to thank you for checking out the video. The video we're going through here, there's going to be one of two videos. Uh, in this first video on the Energy Analyzer, we're going to analyze uh, data entry, inputting systems, um, and then analyzing first year costs. In the second video, which you'll also find on our YouTube channel, uh, we'll sort of break down uh, system savings down the road, uh, long-term investment, and then uh, payback. Uh, but this first video sort of gives you an idea of, of what the program can do. Um, this is really one of the, the, the few videos that we have or a few programs that we have that really depends on your area um, as far as how you're going to use it. Um, as I get into the program, there, there's what we're doing here is we're calculating operating costs. So if you pick an air conditioner or a furnace, a heat pump, we're going to calculate based on your area, based on your electricity, gas, fuel rates, um, based on your area, and then based on the size of the house, how much a unit operates. Now, as you can see, um, there, there's really three main parts uh, in terms of what we're calculating. Okay, all of your equipment data is, is preloaded from ARI. So all of, all of your air conditioners, heat pumps, furnaces, all that data is in there, whether you sell train, carrier, Bryant, Goodman, whatever you're dealing with, that is pre-populated in the program. What you have to worry about um, is step one, your heat loss and heat gain. You know, if, if somebody ha currently has a 120,000 BTU furnace, we're not going to calculate their operating costs based on 120,000 BTUs. We're going to calculate it based on what you came up with in your load calc. So the very first step before we can even get into this program, we need to have a, an accurate heat loss and heat gain so that we can determine how much money they're going to be spending by operating these units. Um, for instance, if I have a 2,000 square foot house that has no insulation here in Illinois compared to a 2,000 square foot house that was built yesterday that has spray foam insulation, our utility costs are going to be totally different and that's what's taken into account on our heat loss and our heat gain. The second thing we're really looking at is our, our bin data. You know, what area are you located in? Are you in Florida or are you in Illinois? There's a big difference um, between those two. So you can see here I've chose Peoria, Illinois. Now I'm going to open up this screen. We have weather bin data preloaded in here. And this is an average of the last 10 years weather data. And you can see here in Illinois, we have 6,119 heating hours and close to 1,200 cooling hours. Here in Illinois, it's very tough to sell high-end air conditioners because we don't have much cooling hours throughout the year to make a difference. But we do have heating hours. And I think what you'll see through this presentation is that I can make a difference in the program by going with a higher end heat pump or a 95% furnace instead of an 80% because I have those heating hours. Now if you're in Arizona, you're California, Florida, where you're designing for 105, 110 degrees, that might be totally different. You might be able to show a savings on air conditioning as opposed to, to heat pumps, furnaces, etc. So you can see where I'm getting at here. The program really depends on your area, your utility costs, uh, where you can show uh, your bang for your buck. Now I pulled up Peoria, Illinois. You'll see on average over the last 10 years we've had 12 hours a year between negative 15 and negative 10. And you can see all these hours in these different bin temps. That's what we're using to calculate um, your system. The last thing that's important obviously what's your utility rates? If you're at 8 cents, you just type in 0.08, you click set as default, those will come up for you automatically. So when you come into this screen, um, these are already populated. The only thing you really have to change is your heat loss and your heat gain. Your city is going to remain the same. Your, your temperatures are going to remain the same unless you're dealing with multiple utility companies. You can type those in. Uh, you click as set as default, those come in. Now before I get into the actual calcs, um, under utilities, we have this ARI Gamma tool um, with a database that's constantly updated, and you're going to see all the, Amer the manufacturers that we have in here. American Standard, Bryant, Carrier, Daikin, 
uh, you just you're gonna see every every manufacturer that's listed on ARI in here your geothermal units you're gonna see your furnace manufacturers ICP Goodman you're gonna see all of those train carrier um, you're gonna see all those in there you just highlight the one you want you click convert um, and then you can use it in your program so I'm gonna go over to unit information how this how this program is modeled is really a good better best so you'll see up here at the top that we have four buttons we have an existing and then we have system one to three so I can show a, a client you know look here's what what you're spending based on your location the size of your house your utility bills um, and then I can show them up to three new systems um, now for the purposes of the the video just to sort of speed things up and, and not keep you watching a, a half hour video I've chosen uh, my my uh, models and my existing unit automatically so under existing on my outdoor system I'm saying I'm dealing with a client who has a 15 year old air conditioner on my indoor system I'm saying they have a 20 year old gas furnace on my indoor fan I'm gonna say it's not variable speed it's conventional I click calculate down here at the bottom of the of the page it's gonna give me some fan costs some cooling costs and some heating costs based on a 15 year old air conditioner a 20 year old gas furnace based on the size of their house based on your our utility bills and you should be fairly close um, down there now when I go to system one what I've done here I've chose train um, what I did is I chose a 13 series air conditioner with my coil matchup you'll see all your different coil air handler matchups you'll see all of your different units if you want a shortcut you can type in the first couple models first couple numbers uh, or letters of the model it'll take you right to it on my indoor system I've chosen a two-stage variable speed gas furnace my indoor fan when I choose that furnace it already knows whether it's variable speed or not the program picks up that data you click calculate and that first system that I've proposed to them has now shown a significant savings um, and that's just a basic 13 sear air conditioner with a, a two-stage furnace now if I go to system 2 what I've done is instead of air conditioner I've chosen a heat pump and I've put in a 13 sear heat pump with the same furnace so what I'm doing here as a salesman is I'm saying okay I've given you the option for a 13 sear air conditioner well now let's look at a 13 sear heat pump and let's see the effect that it, that heat pump has in Illinois I click calculate and you'll see my heating cost drop by another four or five hundred bucks just by going with the heat pump so in these in these two comparisons we've compared a 13 sear air conditioner to a 13 sear heat pump the furnace is the exact same that heat pump saving us another five hundred bucks a year um, which will be really powerful when we get into return on investment on my system three what I did was I went with the high-end system so what I've done I've, I've showed them the air conditioner on my system two I sort of sold them on the idea of a heat pump so now system three you know let's go for the gusto let's get them into the the high-end heat pump so I've chosen a 20 sear heat pump with the modulating furnace and you'll see when I click calculate it's saving me um, even more money um, we do have a bin analysis tab just to give you an idea of, of how the, the unit is running. Uh, for instance, on this heat pump, it shows you when the furnace is running. It shows you when the heat pump's running. Some people find that, that useful. Uh, what you're really focused on is your system savings. Um, and this is the most powerful graph in here. We have other graphs where you can show operating hours. Um, you'll see the operating hours on the different systems that I've put in you can see uh, the heat loss you can see how much your your cost is per bin uh, but the most powerful graph that you'll deal with in the program is this system savings um, you know my existing system this is what they're currently spending on that 15 20 year old equipment my green my system one is the air conditioner with the the two-stage furnace yeah they're, they're gonna save a little bit but just by going with our basic system now our, our system two, the blue that's our heat pump hey it's the same same efficiency as the air conditioner
but it's going to take care of some of your heating days. You're going to spend eight cents instead of a dollar on gas. That saves you an additional four or five hundred bucks. And then, hey, look at our, our high end system that's going to save you another couple hundred bucks a year. Now, again, this is just system savings in year one. In the next video, we'll take a look at years two, three, four, up to 10, 15 years, whatever you want. Just some other things you can do with this graph. If you don't want to show the fan cost, you can uncheck it. If you only want to show heating, you can uncheck the air conditioning and fan. If you only want to show air conditioning, as you can see, as I explained earlier here in Illinois, it's tough for me to sell on higher SEER, higher EER air conditioners. We just don't have enough cooling hours. Now, if you're in Arizona, I have plenty of people using it out there in California. There's a huge difference between a 14 SEER air conditioner and a 16 or an 18 because they have a lot more cooling hours. So again, as I said, starting out the presentation, it really just goes into uh, what area you're in trying to find uh, a way to use the program to your advantage. You may show the difference between an 80% to a 92 to a 95% furnace. You may show the difference between a single stage furnace to a, a variable speed and how it can save you on your fan cost. You may show all heat pumps. You may show all air conditioners. You may incorporate a geothermal unit in there. Um, just to give people an idea of costs. That's the power of this program and again it really comes down to how you want to utilize it. Again this video explored the system savings. In the next video I'm going to use this same job just to implore uh, or explore uh, return on investment system savings down the, down the road which really should blow you away. If you have any questions on the energy analyzer our phone number here is 815-452-2345 the email is support at adtechsoft.com. Thank you.